answer the questions below. Vocabulary for Success is a current program. It's built on everything we know from decades of research about vocabulary. It's not just about teaching individual words, it's about building habits for kids, about making our thinking transparent, about multiple exposures so they really get a sense of the word and how those words can be used. <laughs> Engaging students is always about understanding who the students are. You want learning to have a level of enjoyment and even fun to it as well. Ready? Action. The idea behind the materials that are in Vocabulary for Success are to really appeal to that middle school set, those 6th, 7th, and 8th graders who have an interest in the world, in themselves, and in how they fit into that world. Great and adaptable. One of the challenges around learning vocabulary is that there are just too many words to learn through direct instruction. The idea behind Vocabulary for Success is really that there's this dual emphasis. We do teach about word meanings, but those words are chosen very selectively to help students unlock how to solve unknown words. The vocabulary words were selected very intentionally. We really looked at what words middle school students needed to know to be successful later in their schooling experiences. So we looked at like things like basic word lists, academic vocabulary lists, and background knowledge lists. The first set of words that we put into the program come from the basic word list. Those are those foundational words that many students may have learned or not learned in their elementary experience. The second place where words come from are those discipline-specific or content-specific words, the words that you need to know that are associated with science and social studies, for example. And then the third place where the words come from is the academic word list. And those are words that especially we see in places like test directions as well as in building informational knowledge in readings. Every word has a purpose in this program. Some of the words have multiple meanings. Some of the words have a very common meaning. Take the word log, for example. You may look at that word and think, well, certainly students of that age know what the word log means. A log is a large piece of a cut or fallen tree. Logs are turned into materials to build homes and make paper. And of course, most middle school students would know the meaning of that. But in this context, log is used as a verb. In other words, how it is that you record data. And that may not be a meaning that many students know at the middle school level. When you log something, you record it. When I log the results of the games I've played, I can see if I'm getting better. That's what we have to help students do, is understand that lots of words in English have different meanings in different content areas and different contexts. We want to make sure that students always understand that vocabulary functions within context. When you make an assumption, you may suppose that a fact or statement is true without checking the information. You thought it was going to rain today, huh? Yeah, I guess I made that assumption. Next time, maybe you should check the forecast before you go out. <laughs> it's not isolated lists of words, but rather how those words are used to build meaning overall. And we combine those words into some themes or topics based on bigger ideas in social studies, science, and English. So students would see some connections between the words on a topic that's interesting, relevant, that also serves to engage them. We introduce words through engaging passages that are meant to tap into students' interest and background knowledge and so that they can witness how it is that those words are used in the larger context of knowledge. From there, we define the words, we give kids some idea about what these targeted words mean, and then we provide them some practice with word play. Please don't abandon the project just because there have been problems. They get to interact with their peers using those words. We eliminate our food from E, right? Once they've had a few times of getting introduced to and practicing those words, we do some checking for understanding. When I'm in a soccer tournament and I lose, my team loses, we are eliminated 
from the competition. Um, to make the world a better place, we could eliminate bullying. The lessons are structured along that gradual release of responsibility model of instruction. In general, the idea of gradual release of responsibility is that we're intentionally transferring the work from the adult to the student. That we have procedures that we can use to intentionally, slowly, purposely move work, responsibility, thinking from what the teacher knows to what students know. In order to get the most out of vocabulary for success, it really is all about fostering collaboration. Friendships, houses, relationships, what do you think you are? First of all, collaboration among students. We want to give them lots of opportunities to be able to use the vocabulary and the language that goes along with it. Humans are social beings. We learn through social interactions with other people. When we talk to people, we're thinking as we talk. As we interact, we're processing information. We're responding to questions. We're asking questions. Let's look at the next one. Feeble excuses for not cleaning up your mess. In Vocabulary for Success, we want to make sure that we provide those same opportunities. We want students to interact, process, think about each of those targeted vocabulary words. They do so as part of every single lesson. They have to use the words to really learn the words. Ms. Lowry, social studies class and our language arts class. It's also collaboration among teachers as well. In fact, this is something that middle school and high school teachers do incredibly well across the day. They know how to collaborate and they know how to talk with one another. And experience some of these things that the immigrants experienced when they came through Ellis Island. The materials that are available with the Vocabulary for Success program are meant to capitalize on the strengths of middle school educators to be able to collaborate with one another. Vocabulary for Success was built around the idea of collaboration. Collaboration among teachers, collaboration among students. And I said punishment and I said bad grades. You're going to get the most out of it by having kids interact and produce and talk with each other. It's not a take-home, do-it-yourself, independent learning kind of task. It really is about getting kids to use words, be productive with those words, interact with those words, and assume ownership of those words.